Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you the precipitation of zinc sulfide. Check this out. All I'm using for this reaction is sodium sulfide, zinc nitrate, a graduated cylinder, a beaker, my dropper, and a spoon. Start by adding about four grams of sodium sulfide to 150 milliliters of distilled water. You'll see it's kind of a flaky white yellow compound. Stir that in until your solution is completely aqueous. Next, add four grams of zinc nitrate to 100 milliliters of distilled water in your graduated cylinder. You can see this is a white crystal. And stir your solution until it's aqueous. And now it's time for the reaction. I'm gonna add drops of my sodium sulfide to my solution of zinc nitrate. You can see the sodium sulfide is kind of a clear solution. It has a little bit of a yellow tint, but look at the amazing insoluble precipitation when I add it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That's zinc nitrate becoming zinc sulfide in that white precipitation that you see. Look at that. just awesome. Here's a closer look at that zinc sulfide precipitate, that white insoluble solid, in this beautiful precipitation reaction. In the light, you can see how beautiful it is. The zinc sulfide is a phosphorescent compound. It's often mixed with copper to create a beautiful glow in the dark paint. Look how beautiful this precipitation reaction is. It is just amazing. Look at that. Just incredible. Okay, so what's going on in this awesome double displacement precipitation reaction is you start out with the sodium sulfide in an aqueous solution, that's the Na2S, and you add that to an aqueous solution of zinc nitrate, that's the ZnNO3. And when they combine, the metals trade places and you create sodium nitrate, that's the NaNO3. And sodium nitrate is used to make fertilizer, it's even used to preserve meats, all kinds of interesting things. And of course you make the precipitate ZNS. Those were the white crystals that you saw in the precipitation reaction. That's a strong phosphorescent compound. When it's mixed with copper, it's used to create a glow-in-the-dark paint for plastics and different kinds of rubber. Just an amazing precipitation reaction. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.